Welcome back to AMD Tution. In this video, we're going through the GCSE Chemistry Paper 2 predictions for the paper, which is just in a few days from now. I hope you're all doing well in your exam period and keep working hard as it'll be over soon and it'll all be worth it in the end. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about everything. The prediction video for paper one was quite accurate, so make sure you stick around until the end of this video to see all the areas I think you should focus in on. The first topic is rate of reactions. Make sure you know the four things that the rate of reaction depends on, which is temperature, surface area, concentration or pressure, and a catalyst. Tell me in the comments the difference between the concentration and pressure. Also, know the three ways to measure a rate of reaction. Also, make sure that you're clued up on a reversible reaction and what it is, and how they can be endothermic and exothermic in opposite directions. Also, make sure that you know how reactions counteract change, well, in particularly reversible reactions, and I'll leave some notes on the screen here for you about this. One thing I say to our students every single year because it's an annoying mark if you lose it because it's very easy just to learn it, is to know all of the different chemical tests. So I'm gonna leave some notes here on the screen for you to screenshot and make sure that you memorize those for the exam. For organic chemistry, a common topic that comes up in particularly is fractional distillation. So make sure that you're able to describe this process in full, especially if it comes up for like a six mark question. As well as this, make sure that you know percentage yields and atom economy and especially how to make calculations on them because this could come up and this could be an easy one or two marks if you're able to make the calculation. And it can be very quick if you know what you're doing. As well as this, make sure that you're able to identify and also work out what alkane or alkene you're working with and what the difference is, their chemical formulas, and also how to draw them is very important. And in terms of drawing them, make sure that you're also able to draw alcohols, esters, and carboxylic acid. So just make sure that you've learned all the general formulas and had some practice drawing them so it's not the first time you're doing it in the exam. And when you do it in the exam, it's almost like muscle memory. So you gain those marks very quickly and spend more time on other more difficult questions. In terms of chemistry of the atmosphere, make sure that you've learned this topic very well. It could come up as a four or six mark question and they could directly ask you to describe the changes in the atmosphere over time. So again, screenshot the notes here and just learn the process. In terms of specific exam questions and the style of um, questions that could come up, evaluate questions such as related to the life cycle assessment could be one that could come up and also around atom economy. So keep an eye on those. Make sure that you know how to plot a graph with the best line of fit if they give you the values as they want to test your scientific technique as well. People often ask me what practicals could come up. I could just sit here and list all of them, but to be honest, all of the practicals are very related to the content. So I think if you learn the content very well and have a general understanding of all the practicals, no matter which ones come up, you should be able to tackle them fairly comfortably. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see a physics version of this before that exam comes out. And if you want to be tutored by my team of tutors, then the link is in the video description. Thanks for watching.